Sometimes the road to recovery includes some setbacks. A new partnership with Lorian Health, University of Maryland Upper Chesapeake Health, and LifeBot uses telehealth technology to help patients make a speedy recovery without an expensive trip to the hospital. As Lorian staff recognize changes in the patient's condition, they escort the patient here to a new exam room that features patient monitoring and video capabilities. The nurse connects the patient to LifeBot and enters baseline clinical data. Conditions such as simple pneumonias, mild congestive heart failure, urinary tract infections, change in condition as far as mental status goes, low blood sugar or hypoglycemia or high blood sugar, hyperglycemia, could be conditions we could successfully treat there. Emergency physician expertise is just a video call away here at Upper Chesapeake Health. Providers manning the LifeBot system complete the connection and work closely with the Lorian team to assess the patient. Clinicians review critical patient data, such as EKGs and pulse oximetry, as well as lab and imaging information. Lorian has been able to implement iStat, so we have real-time uh, laboratory testing available to us. Uh, we have radiology turnaround times within four hours, and uh, we also have a medication drug box that is essentially matched with what we have in the emergency department with regards to antibiotics, uh, you know, IV fluids, and so, some basic re resuscitative medications. The emergency department physician can select one of three cameras mounted in the Lorian exam room, allowing for a visual inspection of the patient. When I started initiating my first call, I was able to do almost a mini neurologic examination to feel better that the patient wasn't suffering from any kind of uh, neurologic deficit or focal neurologic deficit that would make me think of a stroke. Uh, instead, I was able to assess him, see that he returned to baseline because of the video capability. Once all the necessary information has been processed, a clinical decision is rendered. A new care plan may be started at Lorian, or the patient can be transferred to Upper Chesapeake for further evaluation. These patients are normally elderly. Uh, they may be frail, multiple medications. Uh, being removed from their normal environment can cause them to undergo sundowning or worsen dementia. Uh, they, they can be at uh, risk for falls, uh, other infections. There's risks towards being in, in the hospital. So there's a lot of good that can come from caring for the patient, maintaining high quality care, and keeping them in, in their normal surroundings at the nursing home. Our patients at Laurie and Bel Air have been very pleased with the telehealth encounters. They've been able to talk with a physician at the hospital, and it gives them confidence in the treatment. 